What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Capping with Kev Mack. Today I have week six NFL Power Rankings. One ball and no strike. Aaron Wayne, the outfield deep and straight away. Fastball is a high drive in the deep left center field. Buckner goes back to the fence. It is gone. At number one. There's no surprise they've been on top of my list the entire season. The San Francisco 49ers, who are 5-0 undefeated. At number two, I've always maintained this year that the Chiefs and Eagles must be in the top four based on their Super Bowl appearance, conference championship winners, and the Eagles are undefeated. So at number two, the Philadelphia Eagles. At number three, the Kansas City Chiefs. The Chiefs opened up losing to the Lions, but they've been steady. The offense has been the offense that we expect from Patrick Mahomes. The defense is a little bit shaky, but they are at number three going into week six. At number four, they took a little bit of a fall, the Miami Dolphins. The Miami Dolphins, I've, I've told you guys, their defense is suspect. Go Young DJ predicts that they'll have a great season. I forgot how many wins he said, but it was something like 10 wins, 11 wins, something like that. And the Dolphins are somewhat handling their business, but they fall to number four. The Buffalo Bills, they will remain at number five. The Bills coming off a loss to the Jaguars, real kind of shaky defense. Josh Allen's been a bit suspect. He just throws the ball up there and hope his receivers like Diggs go get the ball. But number six, I'm happy that I moved the Steelers up to number seven two weeks ago. I said anti-Steeler fans would hate this. They would not like this, but you got to respect it. You got to give props where props is due. So the Steelers move up one spot. I got the Steelers at number six. They're in first place in the AFC North at three and two. The Dallas Cowboys have taken a fall. They kind of, you know, you, you expect this from Dallas Cowboy fans. You listen to fans around the league. They know Dak is going to choke at some point. The Cowboy defense is going to let them down at some point. So I, I'm a little disappointed in the Cowboys. However, I still have them at number seven. So they fall one slot. The Detroit Lions. I spoke highly of them before the season, said they would win their division. Got a decent defense. Golf gets to do his thing in Detroit. So the, the Detroit Lions will stay at number eight. No change there. At number nine, not much a surprise. I gave I gave them their props a couple weeks ago. I had the Seattle Seahawks at number 11. I'm going to move them up to number nine. I like the Seattle Seahawks. I like, I like old Pete Carroll running up and down the sidelines and really cheering on his, his team and encouraging his players to play even after mistakes. So I like the Seattle Seahawks at number nine and number 10. Now I get, I came out and I gave these guys props. I spoke highly of them before the season. You know, I like Trevor Lawrence, you know, I like the Jaguar defense. Uh, they, they hurt me. They let me down and I took them out of the top 15 two weeks ago, but this week, they are back at number 10. The, the Jacksonville Jaguars cracked my top 10 at number 11. I talked about them in preseason. I don't really respect preseason. I, it's hard to go off preseason, but there was two teams I said that I liked at the quarterback position. It looked like they could do some things. That was the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Indianapolis Colts. And the Colts are starting to – they starting to – they got some injuries now going into week six, but we're not going to talk about that. Right now, the Colts are at number 11. At number 12, you know I ride this guy hard. I ride this team hard. I ride the coach hard. I don't like hardball. I cannot stand Lamar Jackson um, and what, what the Ravens do for him. You may remember, if you follow the channel, you may remember – that I said when, when the Ravens lost that game to the Colts, I believe, in overtime, I said that Lamar Jackson didn't try hard. Well, he tried hard this game. But remember, I said his receivers don't help him. They drop passes. Now it's headline news. That's all they're talking about everywhere in the sports world is the Ravens wide receivers dropping pass. I gave y'all this heads up a couple of weeks ago when they went into overtime. So the Ravens, 
they 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 remain at number twelve. They're three and two. They're in second place in the AFC North, and this is why you have to get a Steelers props. If you're a Raven fan, or you like the Ravens, or you like Lamar, then what do you think about the Pittsburgh Steelers at number thirteen? And they remain at thirteen. So again. I'm comfortable with putting the Saints at number 13. They remain at number 13 after beating my lowly New England Patriots, and we'll get to that. Number 14, cracking my top 15 are the Atlanta Falcons. I like what Riddler, I, I like what the Atlanta Falcons are doing. Uh, they're not a great team, don't get me wrong, but they are, they cracked the top half of the teams in the league right now. They try hard. They play fast. I like what they're doing. Um, hopefully they start gelling and, and do better. But at 14, the Atlanta Falcons. And at number 15, they were at number 15 the last couple of weeks, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Buccaneers remain in my top 15. Shout out to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers without Brady and some of the other elites that were on that team to help them get to the Super Bowl. Uh, and that's going to round it out for my top 15 NFL power rankings going into week six. Y'all have a good one. Be sure to hit the like button. Thanks for watching. I'm out.